<laughs> Here come the super long splash screens. Every time. There's got to be a way to disable these. I hate this. Oh, let me get rid of this stuff. It's on there from uh, something I was doing earlier. Uh, there we go. Okay. I've been pretty diligent about keeping my cursor off the screen when I'm playing this. If I ever forget, somebody's going to have to let me know. Alright. I'm not sure what that killing you guy character is on my select screen. Alright. So I would know if I was still in my friend Anthony's enemy seed if a big four-legged skeleton came walking down here to kill me. But since I don't have that... I suppose I'm in my own world. Ooh. It's good having this Grave Lord sword now. Alright. Man. All of these enemies were like so challenging when I first came into the game, but now it's like <laughs> no problem. That bone tower, I'm not even concerned. This bug. Oh, oh, oh. He almost got me. But yeah, this big bug, no problem. That bone tower can just shimmy on down here, I don't mind. Just a couple of pokes. And I'm good on that. The snake man, I'm not afraid. This crystal archer, mildly annoying. Let's just get rid of that. And I should try and get the item on the bridge down here. I've never actually attempted that, you know? Let's do some jump souls. Jump. Okay. And I just need to very carefully get over here. Very carefully. A black sorcerer cloak. Okay. Pretty cool. Very careful. Very careful. Can I jump back? Yes, yes. Okay. I kind of wish I didn't have to dress like such a goober, but it's the only way I can carry this equipment and not fat roll. Alright. Like, every enemy on the way to the undead burg is so much less challenging now. It's great. So my goal for today is to get into the lower undead burg. And see what kind of progress I can make there. This should all go much smoother now. Oh, look at that hippity hopping vagrant there. Oh, I can just one shot it now. I must have so many twin humanities. I got a whole lot when I was grinding my way into the um, new Londo. 29 Twin Humanities now. I should be kindling bonfires. Oh wow, I'm getting a bunch of souls now for some reason. Oh god! I thought he was going to get stuck on that door. Hold up. Ooh. This guy is less of a challenge, but... Still threatening. Yeah. How about a jump attack? That doesn't even slow him down a bit. Oh god. Ooh, I saw the second punch coming, but I was okay. This slime is so hard to hit. Even if I'm if I'm targeting it, just it's stubborn. If 
feel like so I think I've explored all of the basic undead burg here. But I don't know, if there was anything left here, I would feel a lot safer looking for it now. Now that I've got so much good equipment. Heh, <laughs> this scarecrow. Nothing. Just one backstab is all it takes. Oh, there's that statue. I guess I'll kill this giant mushroom too. Hoop. I can't believe the mic quality made you orgasm instantly. <laughs> okay, that's good. Holy shit, that vagrant. That did so much more damage than I thought. I really need to like up my endurance. This sword, it's a Grave Lord sword. I think normally you have to make it from Nido's soul. Let me see. I really wish this game had like a equip weight percentage like Dark Souls 3 has. Let's see. Got this black sorcerer cloak. I usually don't pay that much attention to armor stats. I just try to equip things that weigh more. And I assume they're more protective. Equip load on the top right. Um, I don't see that here. Um, oh, like over here? I mean, yeah, I see 27.4 out of 57.7, but um, I can't, like, do a quick percentage calculation. I'm not that smart. Um, uh, maybe I'll try this Black Sorcerer Cloak. It's, uh, well, it's slightly more than the Painting Guardian robe. <laughs> Dark Souls for NASA engineers only. Hmm, how about this Anklet of the Great Lord? Okay, now I'm not fat rolling. I should be slightly more protected now. Oh yeah, everybody came back. Little skeleton. Come here. Little bug. See, with a heavy attack, I can one-shot most of the things on the way to lower end that burg here. Ow. Oh, this guy's going off. All the way down. I don't even need to kill this guy, really, but... I'll accumulate more souls. And maybe get random items. Oh god. Oh god. Let me just take a quick sip. Okay. Alright. How did that miss? Oh, he's fast. These dodges. Alright. I do like encountering all these vagrants because they always drop between humanities. I think I've got like 30 of those or so now. This goop! It's so annoying. Every time I get to this area, I just get a bunch of souls and I don't know why. Alright, I'm going to have to play the slow and steady game with this guy again. Oh, 
Damn. I'm not being slow enough, I guess. Can I backstab the giant mushroom? I would really like to. Oh. Oh god. Well, I'm down here now. Why is it so hard to poke things with this sword? Okay, I guess I'm going to see if I can find my way back to my souls from here. I forget where exactly this is. Um, hmm. I can get back up if I go there. Where else can I go? There were some stairs here. Some stairs here. Wait. Oh, uh, I guess I just have to go to the ladder. Yeah, I bet those random souls are from, like, enemies spawning slightly out of bounds or something. But I don't know, the mod is supposed to only put enemies in places they properly fit. It's supposed to do that, but I don't know if it actually does. Okay. Yep, Mushroom Friend is still here. What a guy. This is driving me nuts. I cannot hit this slime. Oh! Again. I hate this thing. Hmm. I might just run past some of these guys now. They shouldn't even be able to follow me through these tunnels. probably just skip that giant mushroom too. <laughs> okay, so the secret big threat here is that vagrant on the stairs. When he does that like homing sperm attack like that, that's when I'm in trouble. Well, let's just keep on running here too. Get inside. Okay. What's it going to take for me to level up? 9,000 souls. Oh, Alright. Well, I don't even want to be here right now, so... It's going to be off to the lower undead burg with me. I wonder when... In this game, I'm going to get the right of kindling, you know? Oh, hello, friend. Ow. All right, this is where I'm headed. Oh, hey, there's Nick. What's up? You... I can't take this. So I have no idea what surprises are in store for me yet in Lower Undeadburg. I have not seen the random enemies in this area. Okay, there's a little double lizard. That's not a huge problem. Who else is here? One skeleton. Got him too. Stuck at the AT&T store. Oh no. 
you're watching on your phone, I guess. <laughs> hmm. Are you guys buying some AT&T at the AT&T store? Oh god. Alright. Oh, who's this? It's a butcher. Oh god. <laughs> Get away. Let me sip. <laughs> yeah, so far nothing here is too threatening. Doing iPad things. Ah. If anybody here would have seen my last session when I tried to get through New Londo, this is nothing compared to that. I don't know if anything in the rest of the game will compare to that. Oh boy, a large soul. I forget which one of these doors are real doors. Oh, Anybody hello. Help me. Unlock the door. Unlock the door. Finished. How did this ever happen? It's locked. Don't have that key yet. All right, Black Knight time. Oh, I think he's a Silver Knight, which is a bit scarier. Zip. Ooh, okay. Ugh. Here we go. Okay, okay. I'm hoping he doesn't respawn, but I think he might. Yeah, there's a bunch of doors in this lower undead burg. Some of them open and some of them don't. Whoa. Oh. I guess they're monster closets. Nobody's in this one? Just a bad rat in here. Who is too fat to get through the door. Oh, damn! A Black Knight Great Axe. I bet I can't use that. Hmm, we need 36 strength, yeah. That's a little much for me. In here? Oh, another butcher. Another enemy. Too fat to get through the door. These kind of long-reach poking weapons are really critical for a randomizer run. There's so many enemies that can get stuck places. Lying in ambush ahead. I see a red frog creature. And a skeleton. Spooky! What's glowing over there? I don't like that. Hey, no licking. Oh, uh, it's a humanity. Hey, who's that? A bad rat? Alright. I think this one's also too fat to get through the door, so... Poke. Got him. Ah, a nice blood-stained skirt for me.
boss ahead. So I'll be really curious to see what this is. Normally it's the Capra Demon, but it might be something else. Oh god, it's one of those Ulaseal mages. And a painting guardian. Trying to sneak up on me. Okay. This guy. So I think normally the Capra Demon here would give me the key to the sewers. But I believe I already have the sewer key. Oh, hi. So I don't really even need to fight that Capra Demon or whatever it is. Weapon ahead. Merchant ahead. What's ahead here? Shortcut? I don't think so. Over here? Oh! Oh, you're the merchant. Okay. Buy some of my moss. Okay. Let's see what we got. Green blossoms, transient curses, that's pretty good. If I hadn't already done New Londo. Hmm. Ooh, blooming purple moss clumps are good. And regular purple moss clumps. I feel like there's a little price disparity in these. Homeward bones are good. I don't have any blood red moss clumps. But they're also, like, not that good of items. You know? I feel like if an enemy is attacking you that can make you bleed, um, it's usually faster to just kill the enemy than it is to get rid of that bleeding buildup. Oh, wow. Uh, I can buy large Titanite shards for only 100. Same with green. Hmm. Pretty good prices here, too. Standard bolts for 50. Heavy bolts for 100. I'll buy some standard bolts, I think. Maybe I'll just buy, like, 70, 80 of those. Yeah, not a great merchant. But I do think I can unlock a shortcut if I go this way. So it'll help me get back to Firelink. Very nice. Yeah, I kind of forgot I've got sorceries now. I can do Fire Whip. Yum. Yep, so I believe I can just go straight to the sewers. Oh look, new item. Okay, I got the Seek Guidance Miracle. So whatever. Oh, this one's still locked. I thought I had the sewer key. Don't I? Oh, sewer chamber key. Hmm. Well, maybe I still need to fight the boss here, then. I'll see what it is. See if it's something easy that I can do on my own. I don't think it can be any boss that's too hard, because, like, not a lot of bosses are going to actually fit in this space. So, let's see what it is. It's Vamos! And a Black Knight. 
and a rat. Okay. That's nothing too crazy. You just... Ah. I missed the rat. Ow. Ow. Stop it. I can't see. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Let me out. I can't move. Oh my god. They got me cornered. Alright, well, it's not that bad of a fight. I can fight a few things in a, in a corner there. I think I'm going to take the path from Firelink, though. I'm going to try and run back. Gonna take the back way to the burg. Oh god. Oh, no, I don't want to lock on to anybody. Quick soup. What's happening here? Oh god, I'm locked onto the wrong thing. Did I just kill three of them with one poke? I think I did. Right, into the bone zone. This one to be my home bonfire now. Hmm, you know, I'm gonna get a different pyromancy also. I think I'm gonna take off the great heavy soul arrow. Probably just use Fireball. Seems good. That way I don't have to like switch to a Catalyst instead of a Pyromancy Hand. What's this guy doing up here? Get down. Hmm. Now for this fight, I think I'll want to try to get rid of the bad rat first. The only thing really hard in the fight is the Black Knight. But Vamos is no slouch either. Ow. All right. Whoop. Mm, damn it. A little appetizer bad rat waiting for me outside the fight. I know the typical strat in this fight is to make good use of the stairs for like plunging attacks. 
Oh god. Hup. Ugh. Another good thing is the enemies can kind of get in each other's way a little. Oh lord. I tried to do a plunging attack and I don't think it worked. Alright, well it's still good to like bottleneck the enemies a little. Looks like Vamos is what technically replaced the Capra Demon. Because his health bar is at the bottom. And I'm about to die. God. This is just a fun house. I can't, like, act out any kind of plan here. I'm just, like, flailing. Let me back up a little. Yep, get bottlenecked. Capra Demon is dead. Victory achieved, okay. And I did not get a key into the sewers. I might be in trouble here. That shield bash is tough, man. Oh, I can just leave. Bye. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm in a predicament now. So I don't have a key to get into the sewers, after all. Um, it's a big problem. I'm trying to think of where else I'm still able to make progress, and... The only thing that really comes to mind is that I can try to do my Bell Gargoyle fight. Uh, that's gonna be really difficult to do, though. I don't know, I might level up a couple of times and then attempt it. I don't know. But I might have to wait and get co-op help on that. Basically all that's left for me to do is try and, like, explore whatever areas of the game I haven't explored yet and see where there might be a hidden key item. I really thought I had everything I needed to get down to Blight Town. did not get the key to save that sorcerer guy either. I think that turned out to be a dead end. Hmm. Oh, what's this? Have I been here already? I think I have. I remember this shortcut ahead. Yeah, it just gets me back into regular Undead Burg. I don't think I have any reason to be there. I'm just gonna climb a big ladder now. Hmm. I don't know, this kind of sucks.
The only thing I know of where I can still make progress is the bell gargoyles. I don't know. The only other thing that comes to mind, even as a possibility, is like maybe I missed something in the forest where the butterfly was. But I doubt that. Hmm. Also, am I crazy or like, isn't this supposed to be the place where you get the Sunlight Covenant? I wonder if maybe you have to beat the boss with Solaire first or something. Here, let's see. I probably want more endurance because I really want better armor. <laughs> Let's do like three of those, and then see if I can wear something better. <laughs> what if I didn't wear the dad mask, but just wore like a regular helmet? A standard helm, maybe, if you will. Well, I'm already fat rolling just from that. I guess I need the dad mask. Hmm. <laughs> I want to say you fat roll at like 50% of your equip load. So I think I can go up to about 30. Which means like two more pounds, basically. What about the sage robe? Is that too much? Yep. Okay. Sage robe is too much. What about the gold hemmed black cloak? Okay, that one's acceptable. I look crazy. But. It's better. I think I also get more stamina for upgrading that stat. I'm just... oh... just gonna try to skip ahead. Oh my god! Just... oh god! This sniper mage! Maybe it's easier to run through the bottom. And of course, the fucking wheel skeleton decides to drop down. Unbelievable. I guess I need to go up top. I don't even need to retrieve those souls. I had nothing. Let's go this away. That dodge. Ooh. Okay, now let me lock out whoever I can. Okay, it's just you. That was a good poke. Got him. 
you know, I'm getting a whole lot of large Titanite. I'm getting very little regular Titanite. It's really going to make upgrading a problem. Hello, friend. Hello, other friend. Stop. Oh god. Someone's just all too eager to try and roll at me on a narrow ledge. I'm gonna make a run for the elevator and try to go down to Firelink. It's a really good shortcut. Hmm. I might be able to do a little exploring there, too. Oh, how did I never pick this up? Elizabeth's mushroom? What's that, then? Um, greatly restores HP for a limited duration, huh? Weird. <laughs> Clearly, I did not do a thorough enough job exploring down here. Hmm. Considering that... Oh, hello! It's Anthony. Um, I'm assuming you just got here, so I'll bring you up to speed. I got to the lower end Edberg, cleared all of it out. Um, skipped the boss fight in there, because I was like, oh yeah, I can just go straight on to the sewers. Uh, turns out I need an additional key to get into the sewers, which I don't have yet. I thought I did, because... Um, look here... I have sewer chamber key, but apparently that's a uh, just random key within the sewers. Well, after I discovered this about the key, I did go to the boss. It was um, a bad rat and a black knight and vamos. So it wasn't that hard. I killed them all. And now... After having beaten those bosses, I still don't have the key to let me into the sewers. So I'm kind of racking my brain, looking for places that it might be. I realized there were still some items I haven't found here in the, uh, like in Firelink. So I'm trying to explore a little more and find those. I don't remember how to really get around here. I see an item, like, way over there. I'm not sure how to get to that. I wonder if I need to jump across onto this. Yeah, that's my worry, is that maybe it's in the Bell Gargoyle boss fight. So that might be the next thing I have to do. Oh, this sucks. I'm stuck right here now. Okay. Got unstuck. I don't remember how to get to that rooftop. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm I think I need to jump over there. Okay. Oh, this sucks. I wonder if I can make it with just a roll or if I have to do a running jump. I hate this. Oh god, yeah, the jump might have been too much, actually. I might be able to do it with just a roll. Oh my god. You brought the big follows people to me. I've never had a big follows message in my life. 
You've tainted my stream now. With the big follows messages. But on the plus side, now I can get lots of followers, primes, and views at bigfollows.com. I don't know why you get so many of those. Like, every time I watch one of your streams, there's a burst of like three or four of them in a row. I'm gonna have a quick sip. So do you think I only got one of those spam messages because I have slightly more followers already? They think, oh, this guy doesn't need as many followers. He's already got a few. Alright, for this attempt, I'm just gonna roll. I'm not gonna jump. Alright, that does it. Okay... Gotta be some obscure items around here. Oh, is that the nest? Oh yeah, I remember now. You can curl up like a ball here and get taken back to the asylum. I might need to do that if the key isn't around here. Hmm. Let me check down lower a little, see if I missed anything. Mm. Oh, there's I Love Magic. Maybe it's not about the quantity of followers, they are just big people. Yeah, I can get followed by some big guys. Love some big follows. Oh my god, it's just a soul up here. Hmm. Well, maybe I should go back to the asylum? I don't think there are any items left for me to find here. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm falling. Anything up here? No. Okay. I guess I'm gonna try to go back to the asylum and see if I find anything. I'm not sure if the return to the undead asylum is a like co-op area or not. I'm inclined to think it isn't. Oh god. Oh god. Another thing occurs to me, actually. <laughs> the key I need might be in the cemetery. I know there's that one grave that has like four monsters around it. So, I guess before I go back to the asylum, I'll try and search the graveyard. I get to play with my friend, the four-legged skeleton again. I hate these short enemies. Here. God. This sucks. I'm about to get killed by a worm. Alright, here come them boys. Here he comes. We're back to this again. Here he comes. 
At least I don't have a lot of souls or anything, though. I can search the graveyard. I can just run in and get that item. And, like, it's pretty low stakes. Even my bloodstain right now only has, like, 2,000 souls. Ooh, that was a good poke. Like, right in his chest. What is this? Forsaken Isle was a game bought on Steam in early access in the hopes they'd finish it. The devs abandoned the game and took the money, tried to request a refund, and Steam said, Nope, you played more than two hours, idiot. I've never heard of Forsaken Isle. I guess it's good that I never experienced that. Alright. Clamshell time. Man, I love this Gravelord sword. This has made the earlier areas so much easier overall. Okay, now I have to go after whatever's here. Now, I think you told me that this big cat creature doesn't really fight you, it just runs off the ledge or something. Oh, it's running. It's doing something. Is it gonna fight me? Or is it just gonna keep running? It's not really doing- Oh god, Andre! It's the boss! Oh, look at him, just waiting for me. Alright, the cat probably just ran off the edge. Andre, stab! I think he staggered a little, holy shit. Go away, cat. Oh god. Oh, I thought he was going to do his special move. Alright. It should be easy to get to that grave now. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think if I've ever been burned by an early access game, but I don't think I really have. I've been pretty lucky, and like... The early access stuff I've bought has eventually gotten finished. Alright, it's a green titan night shard. Okay, oh, there's an item. Oh, maybe a key? Maiden gloves and homing crystal soul mass. I mean, that's cool. It's not what I was looking for, though. I'd better wear these maiden gloves. They sound really good. Magic defense, curse resistance. Wow, amazing. Look at my beautiful hands. <clears throat> I think there's a DLC monster. Yeah, there's that guy. Is he guarding an item, or is he just down there? Any item over there? I don't see anything. I think he's just there. Just because. I don't know. I should try to kill him, I guess. Just so I can, like, 100% the graveyard. Hmm, okay. Uh, why isn't this guy waking up? Oh, oh, maybe the DLC monster's not gonna wake up either. Maybe not until I take... Oh, oh, oh! Okay, so I got the item. I don't even have to fight it. I got a Sunlight Blade Miracle, which I'm probably not gonna use. I guess I'm gonna go back to the asylum. Oh, 
Let me take a quick rest. Let's see if... Can I use the homing crystal soul mass? Need 24 intelligence for that one. That is a really good spell, though. I'll probably try and level up my intelligence after this and try to use that. Hmm, I don't know if I can Sunlight Blade my Gravelord Sword. I don't have very high faith, so I probably like can't even use that miracle. 30 faith for that one, yeah. That one's not gonna happen. That must be a really good miracle, then. Okay, so I need to go back up here. I'm dressed like a hobo now. I've got these, like, these big old boots on, maiden gloves that I found. This raggedy robe. I'm probably going to stick with the Gravelord Sword for a long time, though, so, like, I can probably just focus on leveling up Intelligence and Endurance for the most part. Just get better armor and better spells. Yep. Yep. I don't know if I need to, like, attack that crow before it'll pick me up here. Let's find out. Hmm. The crow's not doing anything. How long do I have to curl up? Okay, I guess I have to attack the crow. Hmm. I've heard that you can like point at something with your knocks and then just shoot with a crossbow. Yeah, and that's like aiming with a bow. Move that bird. Oh, 20 seconds? Do I need to make the bird fly away? Because I can. Eh, uh, okay. We'll conclude this later. Just gonna be an egg for twenty seconds. Oh, yeah, there I go. Look at me go. <laughs> that little dad mask peeking out. <laughs> okay, yep. We got some new friends here. Well, 
let's see what wonders I can find here. That is a big-ass humanity. Isn't that bigger than normal? Oh. Oh, man. It still got me with some damage there. Okay, so I know if I walk in here, the floor breaks out and I have to fight some boss. But I also know... Oh, hey, this guy. Ooh. And a Black Knight. Whoop, whoop. He's a-coming, maybe. Ooh, okay, good hit. This guy. Yeah, so I also know that if I go back to my cell, I can find an item. And normally it's the doll that lets you go into the painted world, but it could be anything now. Should I rest here? I don't really know. I guess I will. Hmm, which way should I go? I think this will probably go back to my cell. This will also let me know what boss I'm going to have to fight in the bottom part. Oh, it's just Gwyn. Okay. He's just hanging out down there. Oh, look, a little buddy. Ooh, a great scythe. Okay. Huh. And in here we have a shield. Okay. Guess I'm gonna fight Gwyn. I mean, that's an option. Hmm. I wonder if I can use a great scythe. Let me check those requirements. Hmm. Great scythe. I can definitely use that. Wow. It's not got very good stats, though. I just kind of want to try it on, you know, see what its moveset is like. Unable to wield? Oh, because I only have 13 decks, not 14. Okay, never mind. Oh, back to the Gravelord sword. What exactly was the damage on this sword? 397. All physical. Huh. Alright. Well, guess I'll fight Gwyn. Whoa! There he is. Can you backstab Gwyn? Oh, he kicked me. And he grabbed me. Okay. I know you can parry Gwyn. But I don't know if I should even try it. Whoa! Oh, there's a Black Knight down here, too. What the hell? Oh, he must have fallen down when I broke the floor. 
Ow. Damn. I could not get my souls back. You're too scared to play this game? Yeah, I tried playing it with all the enemies in random locations. Basically, I'm trying to fight the final boss in a very not final boss location. Whoa! I hate that you take damage doing that fall. God! Because it's like, you have to fall down here to fight this boss. They should at least, like, let you get down here without taking damage. Every time I take a sip, he's just on me. Holy shit. I honestly remember him being easier. Maybe it's because I'm usually such a high level at the end of the game. Oh, maybe I can ignore that Black Knight. Maybe he's not going to bother me. Nope, there he is. Stop! I wonder if my pyromancy would help me against Gwyn. The flame whip. <laughs> nope, that wasn't much. Hmm. Maybe I should try the parry game. to try and like get down and immediately have a sip if he'll let me sip no he didn't even let me not one sip Oh my god, I didn't see him coming at all. Well, since he won't let me take a sip when I get down there, I need to preemptively sip. Tried to parry him, didn't work. Uh, it looked like I parried him perfectly. I can do good damage if I don't just get killed by a single combo from him. See if I can parry his first attack. Well, <laughs> or get killed by his first attack. Hmm. Yeah, it would make sense for the Pontiff to be a final boss. He's kind of got that feel.
I don't know about this Gwyn fight. I was blocking that time. I had my shield up and he still one-shotted me. That's my DSP moment. I was blocking, dude! Wow! I did nothing and I still got hit. I was blocking, dude! This is so dumb. Oh my god. I can't do this. In like these like seven or eight attempts, uh, seven or eight attempts or whatever I've done, I've hit him like twice. So I think I'm probably better off trying to do the Bell Gargoyle fight. But I'll look around here some more and see if there's anything I've missed in the asylum. Oh, it's Oscar! He's back! <laughs> so I did miss something. Some sorcerer boots. Okay. Oh, I didn't think the ball was still going to be there, since the wall is already broken. But okay. Oh, there's a little vagrant. And a scarecrow. <laughs> Remember when I was afraid of you? And a white rat. Interesting. Oh! Big boy here. Oh, and a little worm. Oh yeah, you need a certain key to get in there. And I guess normally you get that when you return to the asylum. But they have gone and mixed things up a little. I kind of wonder if you need to do item trades, you know, with Snuggly the Crow to get key items. That would really suck. I'll probably try and give her one item while I'm here and then, like, see if it's something unusual. Oh, hey little buddy. Ooh. 
Let me go for that poison dart guy first. Woo. I'm going to try and trade something to the crow out here. After I kill these bozos. Whoa, that dodge. Oh my god. Hmm, are there any items actually out here? You're snuggly out here. You, you, give me warm, give me soft. So I believe I can do one of these. Kind of thought she would say something after I did that. Usually you get like a little confirmation message. No? Maybe? Maybe not in this game? Oh shit. Wrong button. Alright, well, let me see if this works. I think I can, like, exit to the title screen and then come back. I think that triggers the trade. Okay, did I get anything? Okay, I got two green titanite shards. Well, now I kind of have to Google and see if that's a normal trade or if that's different now. I'm going to have to look this up here. Okay. Purple moss clump usually gets you twinkling titanite. So that is a different trade, okay. Well, looks like I'm doing a few rounds of snuggly trading here. Uh, what else can I give her? I can give her rubbish. I think I have a rubbish to trade, yeah. Okay. Let's see what I can get. Looks like a piece of armor is there. Iron leggings. Okay, these are definitely different things now. Um, what else? I can do a blooming purple moss clump. So, let's try that. Place your bets on what I'm gonna get next. Hopefully it's a key item that I need.
Crystal Knight Shield. I mean, that's pretty cool, I guess. Okay. What else? A Red Moss Clump also works. Or a Red Eye Orb, but I don't know if I have those. I don't think I do. I know that Humanity and Twin Humanity work. Okay. This time, it's the soul of a brave warrior in exchange for humanity. How about the twin humanities? I know I have a place to get a red eye orb and blood red moss clumps if I need those. But man, I hope I don't need to do any snuggly trades. Ooh, interesting. The Poison Mist Pyromancy. That's actually really good. Okay, do I have anything else I can trade? Hmm. Prism Stone Dung Pie. I don't know if I have that. Hmm. Did I ever pick up a dung pie? I thought I did. I've got a prism stone. Maybe I didn't pick up any dung. Alright. Soothing Sunlight Miracle. Alright. Hmm. Okay, I can do an Egg Vermifuge next. Which I think I have one of, yeah. So far, I haven't gotten any key items, I guess, but... I have gotten some interesting stuff. You, give me, give me. Large soul, eh, whatever. Um, I can trade her my skull lantern, but I really don't want to do that. Hmm. Oh, I'll see you later. I think I have the sack. I think I can trade her the sack. Didn't I find that? Or no, I think I just saw it for sale somewhere. I don't think I actually bought it. Damn. Well, in that case, I'm done with snuggly trades for now. I guess I'm going to get out of here. This is rough. I don't think I can beat Gwyn right now. Hmm. I think what I'll do now is visit a couple merchants and buy some items that I know Snuggly will want. 
I'll come back to that at some point, but then I'll also probably just try and do the bell gargoyle fight. Hmm, another thing I'm curious about is, will my stats tell me how much the Mask of the Father is helping me? Oh, it gives me like a two pound increase on my equip load. That's not really that much. So I might try and switch, maybe do like a chain helm. I do need to lighten my other stuff though, in that case. Mm, the sorcerer boots are only 1.4. Oh, still fat rolling. Mm, how about the shadow garb? Alright, now I'm normal again. Okay, so one merchant is up here. Oh, you done fucked up. <laughs> oh. Rattle me bones. So I should try and go to this merchant and the one in the undead burg, I think. I think they both sell me some things that I can give to Snuggly. Hmm. Oh yeah, dung pie. It's 2,000, man. I better get something good for that. And one of those. I think that's all I can get there. So Anthony told me a trick to fighting the four kings. Well, if you're just fighting a single four king. Apparently if you get very close to them, they do minimal damage to you for some reason. So I'll probably have to put that to the test. Yeah, there's usually a vagrant out here. Where's that at? Oh well. I'm just gonna run on through here. Ooh. And okay, what have you got? Mm, there we go, a cracked red eye orb. I know Snuggly will take one of those. Oh, I can buy regular ass Titanite shards here for a thousand souls each. Good to know. I really thought he had the sack also. I think somebody had the sack. I don't know. Thank you kindly. <laughs> Who could have had the sack? Maybe Vamos, but man, I hope not. I really don't want to go down to him again. I might just have to, like, look back at my old footage and see who had the sack. Because uh, right now... Oh, God! I got destroyed by that vagrant. 
I don't think I'm even gonna go back for those souls though. Six thousand, it's not that bad. I think I'm just gonna go up to the Belfry and see what I can do. Oh, I should be in human form though. So then I can probably get Solaire with me at least. There we go. No more nasty bacon face. Guess we're gonna... Oh, you know what else might be a good idea, though, is getting Poison Mist, if I can. I think that's useful against Priscilla. Might be better. Yeah, I only get three uses, but... It might make the difference in that fight, we'll see. Was it this guy that sold the sack? Milady. I don't care about any of this, I want to buy things. Mm, yeah, he doesn't have the sack. No sack. I really wish this was, like, a double elevator, you know? Oh wait, I think it is. I think I saw the other elevator going down. Okay. Back at it again in the Undead Parish. Alright, now the test is going to be, can I clear the fun house on my own? Ooh. It sure is a fun house. Oh my god! I jumped right into that and wasted a humanity. I was not trying to do a jumping attack. Alright, well, this is the test. Is there an elevator here for me? Ah, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> Hello. Blobbles123. You're here in time to watch me try to do my Belfry Gargoyle fight. Which is gonna suck. Mm, oh god, okay. Here comes the fun house for me. Okay, that time I did try to do the jumping attack, and it didn't work. Ugh. The gang's all here. There's Wamos. And another skeleton. He's spinning to win. Alright. Ah! Snake man. 
I'm not so scared of you. He's still alive. Alright. I'm a little worried about the mage in here. Ooh, he's not very tough, but his attacks are strong. Now I'm good. I hope Solaire is here for me this time. Last few times I tried this fight, he just didn't have his sign down. Okay, I see him. Good. I'm going to try the strat of getting really close to the boss and see if it really does minimal damage to me. Now I might try and use my fire whip on it. Oh god, I didn't even get a chance to get close. Okay, oh, that worked actually. It did very little damage to me. Okay, it did more that time. Mm. Okay, it's kind of working, but I don't know. I think I'm taking a lot of damage because, like, the attacks aren't directed at me. I'm just getting, like, the collateral damage from Solaire here. I'm gonna see if the Poison Mist will work on him. Maybe not. And I can't even attack him when he's doing that animation either. Damn, Solaire. Damn. He, I can't believe he's still alive. Okay. You know, I think Solaire is doing the strat, though. He's getting super close and taking less damage. Oh, shit. Now here comes Priscilla. Okay, I need the poison mist on her. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Okay, well... That was not what I intended. A couple of misclicks kind of ruined that one for me. Hmm. You know, I don't even know if it helps to have Solaire there. I'm just gonna try the Four King strat on my own, like, see if being the only one in the fight kind of helps to mitigate the damage. Maybe I'll be better off that way. Oh. I don't know why that happened. I don't think I pressed anything. I just got parried by this skeleton. I didn't know that could happen. Honestly, I'm tempted to use the poison mist in this little hallway, but I don't think it's necessary. Oh, Vamos is leading the charge this time. Okay. Shit, what? He broke my guard so easily. I 
Alright, next time I'm going to try the poison mist in the hallway. And see if that helps me any. I figure it's not going to do much, because, like... I think two of the enemies that come out are skeletons. I'm trying to rack my brain for, like, anywhere else there might be key items I could have missed. But really, like, this is the only path I know I can still take. Let's try this poison mist. See if anything happens. Oh my god. Mm. Holy shit. I can't tell if any of these enemies are poisoned. I think they might not be. They might all have poison immunity, honestly. Because the one humanoid thing is from Blight Town. The rat is like... Is the painting guardian behind me? How did he get behind me? That was scary. Ah. Yeah, I think the poison mist in this hallway did absolutely nothing for me. Another giant's halberd, okay. Yeah, I've got that already. Ooh. That guy punches hard, too. Alright. Attempt number two at this... Four King Strat. I'm gonna see if I can just hug him the whole time. And take reduced damage. Sort of. Yeah, a bit. He grabbed me. Okay. Now I need a sip. Ooh. That long sword. I might need two sips. Fuck. He's grabbing me again. My character looks so mildly annoyed by this. Alright, alright. Come on! I can't even take one sip. But I think he telegraphs that grab a little. He seems to like spin around in a circle or something before he does it. Maybe I should be getting Solaire to help me with this. Like, if I had Solaire, then, like, I know that the king would be distracted for a while, at least. Like, if I just hung back, then I know Solaire would do some free damage for me. Wait, is nobody waking up in this room? Well, I'm just going to run straight through then. Bye, skeleton. Bye, snake man. 
I'm out. I'm just going on up. I don't need to mess with them at all. I don't know if they can even use ladders. Probably not. Okay, trying again. He's zooming. Look at him go. Oh yeah, that's the grab. Oh no, that's the explosion. Okay. He just decided to explode. And just killed me immediately. Would be really nice if the enemies fail to wake up again. I might try and just run straight past them, see if that works. Gotta kill that guy. Now I'm going to try and just run straight through. Oh, oh, maybe. Go away, snake. Oh, maybe. Yeah, okay. I don't have to fight them at all. Okay, hope he doesn't explode this time. Okay, Priscilla's coming now. I wonder if I can kill him before Priscilla walks over. Maybe. Shit. Oh, if that attack had hit. Ah! Oh. If that first attack had hit him, I would still be in the fight. I think it's doable, though. I'm pretty sure it was Priscilla that killed me, because I got the blood loss from her scythe. wonder if a different ring would help me in any way. Hmm. Eh, blue tearstone ring is okay, I guess, but I don't think it would really make a difference for me. Mad dash. Okay, skeleton is awake. All right. Ow. Okay. Rat got a couple bites in, but I'm still good. Oh wait, there's another ladder. <laughs> I knew that. Okay, King. I've killed you once. Oh shit. Oh, come on! I was moving. He should not have gotten a grab so easy. Well, is he gonna let me get away and heal now? Yep. Mm. Mm. 
kind of a problem with me being this close is like my sword pushes me away when I do an attack. Oh shit. Oh, I barely got away from that. And now Priscilla's awake. I'm gonna try and poison mist her down at the other end. Alright, now theoretically she should... Oh god. She should be working her way over here. And... Okay. She should work her way through this poison mist. Maybe? Oh! I think... Oh no, I thought the king was poisoned, but I think Priscilla actually like hit him a couple of times. Maybe like a little collateral damage. Oh god. Okay, the super close strat didn't work that time. Ah! Oh. I'm gonna try Solaire again. Because I really think I can do this fight. He looks happy enough to be here. Don't know what he has to be so happy about, though. Alright, gonna ignore everybody. Skeleton is awake and spinning. Out of the way. Okay. So, Lair, you may help again. I really can't tell if, like, the stay super close to the four king strat is working. Oh god. Solaire, help me. They can climb ladders. So just whatever distraction Solaire can provide is appreciated. Well, he didn't last long. God, even with my shield up, that was a lot of damage. Ugh. Here comes Priscilla, and there I go. It was really easy one time. You know, I was able to kill that king pretty well that one time. A 
think of the ideal would be if Solaire could live long enough for Priscilla to come into the fight, then I could just run over and try to hit her with the poison mist and then continue helping him kill the king. Oh my god! Let me out! Let me sip! Holy shit! <sighs> That's a humanity wasted just trying to get up there. probably only going to give this a few more tries and like if I can't make some serious progress in the fight then I might just have to wait till later when I can get help I mean help that isn't so lair because I know with one other person here it'll be a breeze trying to parry me. Okay. Much better. They're following me up the ladder again. Why didn't that work? Get away! The skeleton's just chilling on the ladder there. Get him, Solaire! That's right. Good work. Okay, now come back up. Okay. You got this, Solaire. Don't get close. Okay, good job. Eh. 15 damage from the crossbow. Yeah, that's that's the strat, so Lair, get up close to him. I feel like that should not have hit me. Alright. Priscilla's ready. So I'm gonna try to give her the poison mist. I don't know if it's working. 
and Solaris. Oh my god! She just one-shotted me. I was at completely full health, and she immediately killed me. I need to see if anything I've got gives me bleed resistance. The black sorcerer hat gives me 12, and it's lighter. Alright, black sorcerer hat. Mmm, sage robe gives me 49. Let me try this on and see if I can still roll. Yeah, okay. How about some gloves for bleed resistance? The Black Knight gauntlets are better and they're a lot heavier. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> Hmm, well, as far as weight goes, the Maiden Gloves are probably the best, surprisingly. Iron Leggings? Yeah. I need more than nine, ideally. Ooh! Bloodstained Skirt is very good. <laughs> Can I still roll? No. Damn. Hmm. How about the Moonlight Waistcloth? Yeah, now I can roll. This is my Bleed Resist build. I don't know how, like, overall good it is, but maybe now Priscilla won't one-shot me. I'm also not sure the Poison Mist is really a strat. I've tried it on her a couple of times and like... I have not seen her get poisoned. Maybe I need to use it on her multiple times. Maybe there just hasn't been enough time for the poison to build up. Huh, got a rapier from the skeleton that time. Never seen that before. But here I come. Running past everybody. Still got hit by something. Check out how many souls I have, bro. I don't feel like that should have hit me either. Uh-oh. Oh, he tried to grab Solaire and he didn't do it. Oof. Why is Priscilla already awake? She's early, I believe. Oh my god. Okay, 
I'm going to try and run this way. And lay down some poison mist for her. There goes Solaire. Okay. So she hit me again. Oh my god. She's still hitting me. Uh, and I'm dead. It's definitely going to take more than one poison mist to kill Priscilla. Or, I mean, just to poison her. Hmm. I'm going to attempt this until I run out of single humanities. If I haven't done it in the next two attempts, then... I'm probably gonna just take a break and wait till later. Honestly, probably later today I'll be able to do co-op and see if I can actually finish this boss fight. Uh, but what I will do though is even if I don't beat it in the next two attempts, I'm gonna go visit Snuggly again and see if I get any cool new items. made it to the ladder with no damage I'm just gonna go on ahead Solar will catch up or he'll like get killed in the stairwell by those random enemies Oh my god, yep, he got killed in the stairwell by random enemies, great. Doing this one alone. Priscilla's awake, I see. I'm gonna back up and try to heal. Oh, somebody's ringing the bell, great. That's good to know. I have no idea, like, Priscilla's movement speed, so I don't really know how soon she gets from one end of the fight to the other. Did I just whiff that? Oh my god. Okay, she's here. She's on me. I'm gonna run. Oh! She just killed the king for me! And I got some steel armor, okay. This might be doable then. I'm going to try the Poison Mist again. I really have no idea where she is, though. I hate this. Oh, and somebody's throwing knives at me from the stairwell there. I think I saw her attack. So I'm going to try to lay down Poison Mist. I'm going to do it twice. Let's see if it starts hitting her. Maybe all three of them. So if it doesn't work here, then when is it going to work? Yeah, it's not doing anything. Okay, so she just walked through all three of those poison mists. I have to just try and hit her, I guess. Oh, there's some damage and she made me bleed. Damn. God! Oh my god! 
Why did it kill me that time? I swear, she had, like, hit me with bleeding attacks before, and I had survived them, like, multiple times. I don't think it took off that much of my health bar. Okay, this is the last attempt. Poison Mist seems to do nothing. Man, that was my closest attempt so far. It just sucks that, like, if I just get hit by Priscilla one time, it can kill me. It's just a total coin toss. And I don't think I can run up and attack her without also getting hit myself. Oh my god, they came out a little early. I guess this time I'll stay and babysit Solaire and make sure he doesn't get killed by the enemies in here. Gotta wait for him to come all the way out. Wow, that dodge. Dude, Painting Guardian, fuck off! Come on. Okay. Mm. Come on! What is that? Another random one-shot. Alright, well, I guess I'm just gonna take a trip to the asylum again and do a couple more snuggly trades. I'm not gonna attempt that fight again unless I get something amazing. And that's gonna be the end. Hmm. You know, I'd really rather be on the other elevator if I'm going to do that jump. Can I just, like, send this one back? Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, well, maybe I can jump to the other one. But when? It's so fast. Huh. Perfect. I'm sure if I kept on trying at that fight, I could eventually win. But I don't want to take the time right now. It's gonna kill anybody that might sneak up on me when I'm trying to trade with this bird. I will 
give you this orb. And what's this going to get me? It's a weapon. A dagger. <laughs> Great. Oh uh, yeah, let's try the dung pie and the blood red moss clump. It's a soul. Yeah. Dung pie. Let's see how that strikes ya. I think this is the last trade, and then I'm getting off. You. Give me, give me. A Titanite chunk. Okay. I guess that's all I have to trade with her for now. Alright. I'm gonna fly my ass back to Firelink. And then I'm gonna stop. So not the most productive session today. Pretty much all I found out was that I don't have as many of the key items I need as I thought. Huh, somebody gave me a free Estus though. Now I'm up to 11. Oh, 12, damn! Okay. Uh, I wonder if I'll still have those when I log back in. Or if it'll really matter, you know? I feel like what loses me that boss fight is not really lack of Estus. Just getting one-shotted before I have the chance to heal. Alright, well. You can probably tune in later tonight, or maybe tomorrow. And I should be able to get some co-op in, and I'm sure we'll be making a lot more progress when I do that. We'll see, but anyway... That's going to be it for this time. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.